Can Do is a unique opportunity for economic developers from across the country to share some amazing stories. When you think of the word can do, it's all about doing something cool. And here at this amazing 26th annual conference at Kitigan Zivi, Anishinaabe, by the way, it's all about great stories. It's all about challenges, but we hear a lot of great things happening. And that's what Can Do is all about. One of the ways that we can raise our people up is through economic development. Economic development means training for our people, it means jobs for our people, it means businesses for our people, it means services for our people. So the more that we build our capacity in this whole field of economic development, the better. And that's really the mandate of Can Do. So this is a really great thing about uh, the Can Do Conference, getting us together and helping us all look at ways to make economic development a priority in our communities. Well, I think it's an amazing organization. It's bringing together uh, many diverse opinions, points of views, and they're being heard and they're being listened to. As Indigenous people, we're getting to a much more political, social, economic, environmental, and cultural maturity, and this is how we get there. So I'm really grateful for organizations like Can Do for providing that space for us to learn and grow as a people. The host that we have for this year's conference is Katie Zibi, one of the Algonquin Nations, and uh, we're very, very proud to have them as a, a co-host for this conference. I'd like to thank Kandu for choosing us to be the host community and uh, to come into the ancestral unceded lands of the Algonquin Anishinaabe. We're a long-standing member of Kandu and we're proud to be with them. They're there for the economic development officers. They provide certification, they provide training opportunities, they help out with so many factors. I think they're, they're a great organization. The Women in Business panel is about making sure that women are given the opportunity to speak about their experiences. I think it's a great thing to celebrate women in business of Indigenous startups that exist. So many of them are women. So I think that there's like a unique, special place for that at a conference like this. Bonjour, my name is Marie Saint-Jolais. I'm an entrepreneur, an Indigenous woman is in business and I'm really proud to be. The caliber of the other speakers, I just love listening to their stories too. And you know what? Our challenges are the same. It could be different industries, it could be tourism, goods, services, products, engineering, construction. Challenges are all the same. My core message, I guess, is, is to inspire our people, if they're even remotely thinking of an idea to start a business, just do it. The time is now. Ladies and gentlemen, your 15th annual National News Panel. Give it up. The youth panel is made up of young people from across the country. We like to focus on young people who are obviously working really hard to better themselves and want to be able to share that story and provide them with an opportunity to share their stories because the struggle for young people is finding a voice and uh, we provide them an opportunity to do that. I decided one day I wanted to take a stand for our youth. I wanted to make it known about our history and our cultures and to make sure no one grows up being afraid of being an Indigenous. I really appreciate CANDU for having their focus on youth. I think they really understand that the future is our youth and so them putting us out there and giving us the platform to share what we want to say is incredibly important for every Indigenous youth in Canada. It's just inspiring to see us all doing things at certain age in all these different areas because um, most of us are doing very different things but still amazing things and that's important that everybody has a, a piece to do. I think where we've come a long way through this SETI program is the relationship between council, uh, so both councils but both staff. As Indigenous people and Canadians, we're engaged in a huge reconciliation effort. And part of that is the historical relationship or not having a historical relationship between the parties. We work well with our neighbouring jurisdictions in terms of the other municipalities uh, throughout the North Okanagan, but for some reason have never, never decided to reach out and, and start that relationship with Okanagan Indian Band. And I think truth and reconciliation, that is a a key component of it and, and there is a call to action to municipalities 
to, to start that work and the SETI program was just a natural opportunity to feed into it and, and allow that relationship to begin. With the work of Can Do and the amazing SETI team, people are realizing how bountiful this relationship can be. They're bringing municipalities and neighboring First Nations together and talking about what can we do to further this partnership. And it's happening. How great is that? The Economic Developer of the Year is designed to showcase our community's efforts to show what can be done. And this is an opportunity for our organization to work with individuals or communities and help them celebrate those wins because business is hard, there's a lot of struggle, and we just want to celebrate the victories where we can. Well, the, the recognition means a lot. We're just a small community. Um, you know, we're not, uh, we're used to just doing our work in the background and it, uh, this gets us recognized on a national stage, so I think it's a big deal for our little community. Just nice to have an organization that can recognize uh, these types of things on a national level. Like I said, sometimes, you know, uh, we're such a vast country, it's so big, we don't know about all the little places that exist and I think it's really great that uh, Kando, you know, it's here to be able to recognize all these differences. Every bit of recognition helps. We all need partners, we all need groups that are willing to come work with us and something like this puts a little bit of a spotlight on your community and acknowledges the work that you're doing and the fact that you're looking to move forward. And my team is absolutely amazing. So I accept this on their behalf as well because as much as I run a team, they are amazing individuals that I'm proud to work with every day. Bridging the gap and unlocking opportunities to me means taking stock of what we have in our communities, our strengths, and then looking at ways that we can build on those strengths to take advantage of the opportunities that are there. Sometimes the opportunities are right in front of us and we can't see them, but when you hear of other communities doing certain things, you say, well, yeah, we can do that too. And that's part of a, being in a conference. We all learn something, and as we do that, everyone moves forward a little bit. And uh, each year as we get together, we move forward. And it's so exciting to see that creativity and those innovations coming from our own people to help strengthen our economies.